The 2018 Crime Victims Awareness Walk was the event sponsored by the Detroit Crime Victims Action Team to commemorate National Crime Victims Rights Week uh, in the Detroit area. When you have 144 people dying every day from be it uh, cocaine, opioids, methamphetamine, there's victims. You have the family, you have the friends, they're all victims of it. In addition to that, what comes along with drug trafficking or other crimes, you get violent crimes, property crimes, things like that. So there's victims all across the board with drug trafficking. In 1981, President Ronald Reagan first uh, declared Crime Victims' Rights Week, and then finally in 1984, they passed VOCA, which is the Victims of Crime Act. And since 1990, uh, the Office for Victims of Crime through VOCA has been underwriting through grants uh, events like the Crime Victims' Rights Walk. No one wants to talk about the victims. No one else wants to talk about the victim after the initial story in the news. And if it bleeds, it leads, and you hear about all kinds of stories in the news, and you hear about the victim or the child that's been shot or the, the elder that's been raped or the, or, or the daughter of the high school valedictorian tour that's been murdered. You hear about that during the beginning days, but after the trial goes on, really all you hear about is the defendant. And there's a living victim in some cases or a family of a deceased victim that really would like their loved one thought about too. National Crime Victims Rights Week is important as an annual uh, nationwide observance because it unites crime survivors, victims assistance advocates, criminal justice professionals, therapeutic professionals, and community organizations like Crime Stoppers of Michigan. Whenever you commit a crime, where are the victims? The victims are that somebody doesn't have a daddy anymore because daddy's in prison somebody doesn't have a mommy around, and then you've created victims all across the spectrum, all in your family, and we can never forget that. It's not just about victims of crime, it's about their families, and we always have to remember the families. The event was absolutely amazing, uh, even though it was an outdoor event on a very chilly day. We had uh, nearly 125 uh, people present, uh, there were 75 registered walkers for the event, which uh, we uh, deem a big success. The Amelia Earhart Elementary School, their students did an art project for us, and that art was featured along the walking pathways. We have to remember and keep ever present in our minds that a crime victim is a former crime victim myself. You live and you work and you play with it every single day, and sometimes for the rest of your lives. Guest speakers uh, included Ms. Tawana Rankin. Tawana is the mother of Jada Rankin, 16-year-old honor student who was murdered in a totally unnecessary drive-by shooting. I am a grieving mother. I have a grieving family. My family has been victimized. My friends have been victimized. Her friends have been victimized. And with that being said, I have founded an organization through my grief and my pain called Justice for Jada. It's a nonprofit. And what we do in our nonprofit, we reach out to parents like myself who has lost children to gun violence. And we go out and we support families. We lift them up. We try to just help. Uh, this is really about uh, uh, the people that we call victims. Uh, uh, the people who uh, whose lives are changed as a result of someone else's bad decisions. 